There's clearly has been an effort to bring down the standards for our students in Virginia to stop celebrating excellence. It's just a absolutely atrocious for families and it is unacceptable. Virginia will continue to be on the forefront of standing up for parents and make sure that we're protecting our students and our parents from this relentless pursuit of equal outcomes at any cost. We're sending a bill down to make sure that it doesn't happen again and that this must be reported immediately. You know that Virginia's governor is in it for the fight. He's ready and he's not going to stop. Now outrage is growing as fast as the student merit award scandal is growing. The total number of high schools admitting they delayed notifications. 17 schools did that to students, jeopardizing all those young futures. Those delays, all in the name of some perverted notion of equity and to avoid people's feelings. Ouchie, if you didn't get a merit award, we don't want to hurt you, so we'll give them to no one. So far, the schools are all within three counties in Northern Virginia. A preliminary investigation shows the number of students affected in all of this is in the thousands. And all of those kids not able to use those prestigious awards for college or scholarship applications, the bulk of the guilty schools are in Fairfax County. The district superintendent yesterday talked to parents. She suggested the same thing is happening all over, but Fairfax just got caught. Oh, um, anecdotally, uh, there are a number of other locations. I don't believe anyone's at this time raising their hand to draw any attention to that. Um, we um, here in Fairfax County at the moment are sort of carrying that water. I recognize one of the biggest issues this evening and the last couple of weeks is really um, trust, right? I think we've broken trust with families and I recognize that. And um, it's now our responsibility to rebuild that. Azra Namani, a Fairfax County parent and independent women's network senior fellow. Alicia Brand, Army of Parents co-founder. She lives in Loudoun County, where several schools also held back award notifications. Great to have you both on the program. Azra, I want to start with you. Break it down Thank for you. us what happens when your child isn't told and when those parents are not told about a merit award. Oh my gosh, so you are basically living in a vacuum. You know, talk about broken trust. You are not told that your child has received this national merit award. And so the child can't put the award on the admissions application, can't apply for special scholarships that are put in place for commended students. And you know, it's just like anything else in life. I think everybody can remember, you know, an award that they got when they were 15 years old because it gave you that little spark, you know, it gave you that little attaboy or atta girl. And that is what is lost. The future admissions, scholarships. I've got my wallet Ooh. here. You feel it in the wallet, you know, and that's exactly what happened in our family. Alicia, tell me your response when you hear, and I wrote it down, the superintendent of Fairfax uh, City School saying, Fairfax County School said, Michelle Reed, um, it's not just us. How does the, it's not just us as a school district defense sit with you? I was really surprised when I heard that, but it isn't just them, but that is no excuse. The more schools that admit this will begin to to build trust with the parents until they do that and until they start uh, taking accountability for the things that they have done to prevent future success for our kids, mm -hmm. there will be no trust and we will be holding them accountable. So. Azra, what do you say to your child? How do you explain oh this? The first thing I said was congratulations. I and mean, yeah. this story that happened in our life yeah. is that um, I printed this out because this is literally the email that the school principal sent on my birthday, June 7th, 2020, if anyone wants to send me a birthday card. <laughs> and guess what she wrote to us? She wrote to this to us. She what? said, please think of privileges you hold that others may not wow that was yeah harris that was to our mostly asian mostly immigrant families women 
that have stood in Tiananmen Square to fight for human rights. So I wanted to just give that context that that's the summer of 2020 when my son's going into senior year. And then they spend $20,000 on Ibram X. Kendi that August, who declares that the only answer to past discrimination is present discrimination. And then can you believe it then, Harris? That September, September 10th, the National Merit Scholarship Corporation sent a letter to Ann Bonitatibus, who was lecturing us about our privilege, with my son's name on it. And I didn't know until November 2022. Two years later, I found out from the National Merit Scholarship Corporation. The school system has not even told me. Wow. Superintendent Reed just speaking empty words. They haven't even given us my son's certificate yet. I'm so sorry. And, and the governor, Youngkin, has been fighting this, particularly in Loudoun County. Your last words, uh, Alicia, I want to hear from you about the governor's fight and what, what you think may be ahead for him and, and how you as a citizen may try to help. Well, I'm really excited and grateful for the whole team in Richmond, Glenn Youngkin and, and um, AO, the AOG and the lieutenant governor. They have really moved on this to, to uphold their promises to families and to students. They are currently writing the bill right now, and Senator Donovan will be carrying the bill for for. Governor Yunkin and we are we, we feel so grateful and really believe that this is a bill that must pass. Uh, Azra and Alicia, blessings to you. And I'm so sorry for your son, but I know he must Thank be a superstar because he's got a great mom. You both are great oh. ladies. Thank you very much. Our friend.